foes and tongues to sing my great Redeemer's praise. The glories of my God and King, the triumphs of His grace. Jesus, the name that charms our fears, that bids our sorrows cease. Tis music in the sinner's ears, tis life and health and peace. He speaks and listening to his voice, new life the dead receive. The mournful broken hearts rejoice, the humble poor believe. Hi, everyone. Our scripture this evening is Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that made us and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. Holy wisdom, holy word. Thanks be to God. I love singing in choirs. I've been in choirs most of my life. And Psalm 100, especially the first verse, is one that choirs like to say a lot. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. I think it's because as choirs, we always try to do that. We try to make a joyful noise even though sometimes maybe we're slightly flat. We hope and pray that our our, our earnest attempts are perceived as joyful or joy-filled, a joy-filled noise to God. We hope that God will give us an A for effort. When I first reread this psalm in preparation for tonight, For some reason, my first thought was, I wonder what noises the Lord is hearing coming up from earth these days. Is the Lord hearing the struggling coughs of COVID-19 patients or the constant sound of the flow of oxygen as machines try to help them breathe? Is the Lord hearing the crying of grieving families who have just lost a beloved person? Is God hearing the manager laying off all her employees one by one because business is not bouncing back soon enough? Is God hearing the rumbling of empty stomachs that have not eaten a solid meal for a few days? Did God hear the wailing sirens and the racing pulse of police officers responding to a call? Did God hear George Floyd cry out for his mother? Above the cacophony, above the the loud sounds of the cries of hurting people, does God hear anything joyful these days? Are we making a joyful noise for God to hear? Because the psalm instructs us to worship the Lord with gladness, to come into God's presence with singing, to enter God's gates with thanksgiving, and God's courts with praise, to give thanks to God, to bless God's name. Are we making a joyful noise for God to hear today? I think so. I think above the sounds of coughing and respirators and oxygen tanks, God hears the hospital workers cheering as patients who have recovered from the disease make their way out of the hospital. I think above the sounds of businesses closing and families struggling to eat or pay rent. God hears about food banks and soup kitchens and schools that are providing meals for hungry families. And I think above the voice of George Floyd, God hears the many people who are gathering and demanding change 
a change to systems that have supported injustice in such a way that we have become blind to it. I think we're making joyful noises amid the pain-filled noises. I think maybe God recognizes our attempts. Maybe God gives us an A for our efforts. We keep trying to lift up a joyful noise that is louder than all the angry and sad and grieving noises. And we do this because the scripture says we know that the Lord is good. It is God that made us and we are his. We are God's people and the sheep of God's pasture. We are named and claimed by God as God's children. No illness, no murder hornets, no hurricane, no act of violence, no protest will ever change that. For the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. Amen. Will you pray with me? God, we give thanks for this day, for the chance that we have had to make a noise that is pleasing, that is joy-filled for you to hear. As we go about our days, we ask that you be with us, reminding us of your presence and inviting us to continue making those noises for you. It's in your name that we pray. Amen. God be with you till we meet again. By his counsels guide uphold you. With his sheep securely fold you. God be with you till we meet again. Till we meet. Till we meet. Till we meet again. Till we meet at Jesus' feet. Till we meet. Till we meet. Till we meet. Till we meet again. God be with you till we meet again.